in the bucket of don't do's as it relates to making a good golf swing to produce a good golf shot, reverse spine angle or reverse pivot is absolutely at the top of the list. I'm gonna help you identify if you have this particular problem and also help you solve it. Let's go. Let's unpack what it is and also how to identify it. So if you take your normal stance and you're filming from face on, then if you have the ability inside of like an analysis app, you would want to draw a line right up your trail leg. So running from the outside of your foot all the way up your leg, just like this club is sitting. And then you would wanna draw a line just on the left side of, the, of your head. So outside your left ear, up your trail leg. Now, reverse spine angle, what it is, it's some amount of a combination of the following two things. Your trail hip breaks through this line and or your head leans towards the target. Now you can see what's happening here. My spine angle is starting flexed forward, right? So this is flexion, this is neutral spine, that's an extended spine. What we don't want is we don't want an excessive amount of spine extension towards the top of the backswing or at any point in the backswing because we're gonna come back out of that extension back into flexion on the downswing. So spine extension through the backswing is something we most definitely want to avoid. It's typically coupled with some amount of hip sway, but sometimes can work independent of hip sway, right? I can keep my hips in the box, not break through this back wall or this club and clearly pivot my upper body towards the target. I'm in spine extension. Now, that's how to identify it, but what sort of problems result? Number one, there are problems that relate to what you're experiencing through your lower back. So when someone presents with low back pain, there's almost always some level of line of correlation or causality to what they're doing through their pelvis affecting their lower back. So essentially what you're doing is you're creating this strain reversal going this direction when you have excessive amounts of movement from extension, particularly the lower spine extension into flexion in the backswing into the downswing. So something to avoid to alleviate any potential for low back pain. But in addition, particularly when this extension is coupled with some amount of hip sway, you'll lack the ability to get pressure and mass weight, if you will, over onto your trail side. So you'll turn left of the ball, you'll impact steep, oftentimes swinging to the left and hit wicked slices just like that. Balls that launch low, crop dust off to right field. So what are the culprits? We got back pain, we got steep swings, so divots that go pretty hard down into the ground. We've got divots that are pretty hard left of target, and we've got a ball flight that's curving off to the right. Those are the types of errors that would be indicative of reverse spine angle uh, being a problem in your swing that you need to remedy. So let's get right to what that remedy is. The remedy, we're gonna to need two alignment rods. Make sure they're brand new because these alignment rods are notorious. Uh, for having fiberglass splinters in them. One of those alignment rods is gonna be sitting off your trail hip. So we're gonna go stance. I've got a ball on a tee because as soon as I put this trail hip alignment rod in the ground, just like so, its position is fixed. So now if I keep moving my ball around, I have to move this thing around. So for efficiency standpoint, let's just make sure we've got a ball on a tee to where this one always forms our point of feed feedback. How much distance is between my trail hip and this alignment rod? I've got two inches, or it could be all the way out to a fist to give yourself a little wiggle room because it's okay to have some amount of shift over your trail side with your pelvis. It's okay to have that, but you wouldn't want, as that's happening, the spine to get into its extension towards the target, that reverse spine angle. Now, uh, one last point of reference for this trail uh, leg stick is that it's directly down the seam. So it's kind of midfoot or all the way back out in line with that back ankle. You never want it forward to the middle of the foot. Now, this next stick, you take it and you weave it through your shirt sleeve. And this is going to be an indicator of two things. It's an indicator of the range of motion your rib cage is turning through, but also the position of the stick relative to the golf ball, right? So if I reverse spine angle, the stick largely always points to the left side of the golf ball, to the target side of the golf ball, and never points back behind the golf ball. So net, net, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to turn my belt buckle towards facing this hip stick 
while I'm also trying to move the center of this stick in my sternum some amount over, some amount over my trail knee. And you can see the spine shape that that achieves when I motion my body that way. It's a spine shape where my spine is leaning away from the target, not towards the target. Another really good reference when you're filming this and seeking feedback as to whether you're doing it correctly, if this drill is effective for you, is again, filming from face on, same line here, and then if you drill a line at the top of your swing from your left hip up to the back of your head, is it angled some amount away from the target? Five to 10 degrees away from the target is sufficient. Now, inside of this exercise, we can certainly hit live fire reps. I got two fingers space. I'm gonna rehearse. There's the hip pivoting away from that trail stick. There's me moving my rib cage stick over my right knee. There's the rehearsal and here's the shot. Okay, I got a high starting right push straw. And all of that unfolds because I've pivoted my hips and I've moved my rib cage both in rotation but also sustaining some amount of forward flexion, right? Leaning away from the target in the backswing, allowing that downswing shape to take place, something other than that steep left harsh down swing direction that has you hitting crop duster slices. So this is how you're gonna solve this reverse spine angle that has you hitting poor shots, starting to pivot like a pro and hitting much more solid shots with a completely different ball flight. All the best.